This video will give you the naval templates you need to play Hearts of Rain 4 and enjoy Navy without not knowing what you're doing in under 10 minutes. Navy in Hoi 4 is complicated and mostly misunderstood. Templates for your ships are definitive in being able to field a Navy that can contend globally. Early, mid, and late templates will be shown for each design, so feel free to pause if you want to see one in particular. A well-designed fleet with good composition can punch well above its weight class. Let's get started. Your screens act as a shield for your whole navy. When enemy ships attack your fleet in a battle, they attempt to intercept the shot to protect your back line. High speed and organization are what make them effective, though you can specialize them for several different things. Always try to have four screens for every one capital ship in your fleet before a battle, capitals being all your heavy cruisers, battleships, and carriers combined. This is incredibly important, don't forget it. The Roach Destroyer simply acts as a shield. It does no damage and simply fills your front line, adding to the time and amount of damage an opposing fleet has to do to get through to your back line. They are cheap, but not very effective. You can always refit them later though. After the enemy screen line is dead, these will wreck an enemy capital ship line, but until then, are less effective for pure damage than the DPS variant. If you want a cheaper, quicker model, use lower level torpedoes and take off extra modules. Submarines are only killed by ships like these. They are super effective in naval battles, but putting them on a convoy escort will attrition an enemy subfleet badly. Maxing your sonar module to 2 is the number one priority, as that is what will get you kills, especially after your enemy gets snorkels on their submarines. If you want to make a damage dealing destroyer, these are what you want. They will not decide a battle alone normally, but will add a lot of firepower to your front line. If you want them to be more screen based and last longer, remove a module or two to increase your speed. Cruisers are the heavy hitting ships of your fleet. They do all your damage and most of the time are the make or break factor for naval victories. Light cruisers are any that don't have heavy cruiser modules and will be in your screen line. This means they get hit first and will die much quicker, making speed even more important for them. Heavy cruisers sit in the capital line, meaning they are protected until later parts of the naval battle from damage. Speed, light attack, and a bit of anti-air are your main priorities. Light cruisers need to be fast while also throwing out a lot of damage. Generally heavy cruisers are just better, but you can make these, and they're still very effective. Speed and organization will save you, so always keep them high. Remember, better cruiser damage modules will lower your speed a lot, and make you get hit more often and sink quicker. Heavy cruisers are the best ship in Hoi 4 Navy right now. They are protected by your screen line, and will do a lot of damage over the top. The old meta was one heavy module and the rest light modules. This has been fixed in by blood alone and is no longer exploitable. You can still put on other modules that do light damage for your heavy cruisers. If you want to win battles, prioritize these period. Battleships are the first thing that comes to mind most likely when you think of naval warfare. They are big, beautiful, and dangerous. They're also really costly to produce and simply not worth it. But that's not fun, so who cares? I'm not making this video for the meta, I'm making it for enjoyment. In choosing your battleship design, keep in mind they will get prioritized second after carriers, by enemy carriers, so having good anti-air on these will be a lifesaver. They also get prioritized by torpedoes, so being faster is huge, though that's the case for every ship. Always use battlecruiser armor, there's really no good reason not to. Going for high level armament is fun, but slows you down a lot and you will get sunk quicker. This design is for a super heavy battleship. But don't use it. Really do not use it. I know you're thinking about it right now. You're looking at this and saying, hey, this looks really fun to make. Just imagine it. Will it be effective? No. Will it be fun? Absolutely. It's so much fun, but don't do it. Heaven forbid you break the meta and actually enjoy your game. Carriers are the second best ship currently in Hoi 4 Navy. The mechanics are changed now, such that you will be able to launch a ridiculous amount of them in a naval battle. When making these floating cities, make sure that you put as many planes as possible on them period, and have good anti-air. Their job is to simply hold as many planes as possible and throw them at the enemy back line until there is nothing left. Submarines are really simple. It's not rocket science, it's just torpedo science. Sorry for that. Anyway, the basic idea is put as many torpedoes as possible on them, and as snorkels as soon as possible to decrease your visibility, which is king in navy. It's really that simple. I'm also going to include a picture of a roach submarine, also known as a bathtub. Though I want to say that I do not condone the usage of this design, as it is disgusting. This is mostly due to my beautiful navy having been sunk by them by players in multiplayer games. Probably, who can say. In order of composing a fleet, always build a screen line and a cruiser line first. Four destroyers for every capital ship, aka heavy cruisers, battleships, and carriers. 
If you want to build a service fleet, build carriers or battleships as well, but always prioritize cruisers first and foremost. A submarine contingent is useful, though do note you can play only with submarines if you complement them with naval bombers, though I won't cover them in this tutorial. If you want to learn Navy properly, I have a full guide linked here. That being said, I hope this video gave you some templates you need to enjoy your game. This is not an MP meta design guide, I'm sure there are better designs for it that I do not know. As a last note, remember to always put always engage on and no repair on your fleet for major battles. It will save your ass. I'm Hammurabi, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.